Hello everybody, I'm Will with Retrofix Games here today, and I am going to be opening some Kaldheim Collector Boxes for you today. So I know it's been a little bit since Kaldheim is actually released, um, but it's a personal favorite of mine. I'm a big Norse nerd. I really like the mythology of various Norse type things. So this set was really cool for me. I was pretty excited to see it, and I'm excited to open it up for you today. Bam. Let's see what we've got going on here today. Oop. Flip it over here. Token throws me off every time. I really like the, the snow dual lands. I like that they're fetchable. That's pretty solid. A good budget alternative for people. Snow covered basics. Been the Fang Bearer. Okay. Orvar the Old Farm is pretty solid. It's a fun commander build. I, pre I play primarily commander, so that's usually where I default when I'm looking for cards. And then we have Maya, Brita Guard Protector. Fun random bit about Norse pronunciations. Um, they pronounce J's as Y sounds. So if you see a J in something, it's a Y sound. So this would be Maya, or Maya, uh, Breda Guard Protector. Ooh, an extended art Tybalt Trickery. Sweet. Next pack here. Replicating ring. So this is one of the cards from the Commander decks. It's got a different symbol than the rest of call time you can see right there. That's just something that they do sometimes is they put the uh, commander cards in the booster packs. Garoon eyes. Ooh! Toski Pair of Secrets. This card's still a pretty penny. Anything that can't be countered is nice. Any way to nerf blue. <laughs> Herald and Pyre of Heroes. I play a lot of Pyre, Hero Pyre of Heroes in my own personal decks, so that's pretty cool. Bam. Let's see here. Sage of the Beyond. Dream Devourer. Not bad. I think the foretell mechanic is interesting. We just didn't get enough of it for me to be too excited about it. Lightstep Pathway. Narfi Betrayer King. I think the foils in this set are absolutely gorgeous. The foils just work really well with snow themes and snow-colored things. It makes, like, ice and whitey colors pop a whole lot more. Bam. Let's see. Dragon Reigns, Berserker, another Maya, and a Valky, God of Lies. Okay. So when this set first released, um, I bought three booster boxes of it, and in all three of my booster boxes, I got a Valky, God of Lies. Bam. That's pretty sweet. Pretty stoked to see that. Bam. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. The whites in the art really pops on these foils. Hey, look! Another Toski. This one's just the regular art, but it's foils, so that's pretty solid. Hey! This is another example of that uh, J being a Yosam, like I mentioned. So this is Yorn, God of Winter, instead of Jorn. As funny as the Jorn snow joke is. Bam. Runwood Falls. Yeah, this set had three different non-basic land cycles in it. I think that's something worth pointing out, because it's not a Zendikar set. And Zendikar is usually where we see something like that. So it stands out. 
yeah. Doesn't show up necessarily super well on the camera, but the purples in this foil are also pretty solid. Now the other ranks. Zombie Berserker. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's see here. Pact of the Serpent. Mystic Reflection. Rydane? I think it's Rydane. God of the Worthy. Hua. Flip it over and what do we got? That's pretty solid. I do like that we saw some more of the double-faced cards in this set. I don't want to see them all the time. <laughs> this is our third Toski Bear of Secrets in the same box. That's wild. So this one is the Norse frame and foil. A combination of our previous two. That's funny. I like that. Cool. Crack this guy open. Hero of Bredegard. Coma Cosmo Serpent. Okay, this is pretty dope. I've lost a lot of games of magic to this card, and I am certain that I'm not the only person. Why does it say each upkeep? Why? Vega the Watcher, and an Ascendant Spirit. All right. Crack this guy open. Boop. Cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The snow just pops so nice on these foils. And we've got Alrund, God of the Cosmos. This is our uh, Odin stand-in for the set. And it's pretty flavorful because Odin does turn into, I think it's an eagle? I think it's an eagle in Norse lore, so having his flip side be a bird is pretty solid. Or is it a raven? I could be wrong. Svela, the Ice Shaper. And then the Tybalt emblem. It'll go with the Tybalt that we opened earlier. Sweet! Popping on. I've got three left in this box here. Let's see what we got. Do... Yeah, so this would be Bears of Lit Yara, that J being. I don't need to beat the same horse, but yeah. Bark Channel Pathway. Yeah, not bad there. Raven form is underrated removal. You can't convince me otherwise. Cosmic Intervention. Hey! That's pretty sweet. I adore this art for Vorn Clicks. It's a little gruesome, but I think that makes sense for, you know, a Phyrexian Praetor. And then you have Furia and Skimfar Avenger. That's pretty solid. All right, last pack for box number one. Let's see what we got. Reflections, Faragoth, Blood Sky Sire, and a Battle Mammoth. Well, considering we got three different Toskies and a Vorinclex, I would call this box a win. Get these out of the way here, and we'll get started in on the next box. Yeah, overall, that's actually a pretty solid box. A little weird to see three Toskies in it, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. We can just toss that off to the side. I'm not even going to bother trying to do this without scissors. Bam. Let's see what we get here. Set this guy off to the side. Crack open, pack number one, box two. A 
another Tybalt's Trickery, Blight Step, and Immerstorm Predator. Cool. I make the same sound effects over and over again. That's just who I am as a person. The sound effects do help. Hero Bredegard, Realm Walker, Hengegate Pathway. Gonna gush over this foil again. Absolutely beautiful. And the art style for this set was also super cool. And an icebreaker kraken. Bam. Waking patrols. And give room eyes. Oh, dope! We have a second Vornclex. This one is the Phyrexian text. That's super dope. Okay. Yeah. I think that on, it own, on its own makes me feel like this box is a win. Take a peek at our next pack here. Now let's see if we get three different Vorinclexes in the same box. That would be a treat. World Tree. There was some discourse over this not being legendary because the world tree is pretty significant to Norse mythology. Um, but wizards made a comment that they didn't want to put legendary on lands too often, so that it's easier to uh, play with. Makes the interactions a little less weird. It's just less awkward overall to play with, so that's pretty solid. Hey, look! It's our old friend Toski. A fourth one today. Sweet. And our second foil. I shouldn't have said anything. Now this whole box is going to be Toskies. Bam. Askwood. Igar. Oh my goodness. Why so many Toskies? Why? It's a good card, but it is not five copies good. Wizards, I think you need to change your algorithm here trying to tell everybody how cool this set is, and you gave me five squirrels. Vori, Maya, another Colvori? That's whack. We got two of them in the same pack. The different versions, but that's a little weird. Fin the Fang Bear and Faceless Haven. Okay. I made my anecdote about uh, Valky, and now it's turned to Toski. A whole different prank to play on us. Mark Channel, Vega. Okay. That is pretty spicy. Oh my goodness. I am so stoked that they did the Phyrexian text for a version of this card. That's awesome. That gives us two in this box. I might not be that far off from saying three. Let's see what we get. Bam. Sacred God favored. Gold Span Dragon. Oh, dope. Damn. This box is spicy. Okay. I dig that. That's awesome. Also, a dragon that cares about treasure is pretty flavorful, regardless of what plane we're on. Let's see here. Lathriel, this was the commander for one of those commander decks. And a Masquid Nexus. Okay. Trying to cycle through here and get to the spicier cards here. I mean, we've opened some pretty spicy stuff already, but... You never knew. Now I'm kind of actually jonesing for a third Vornclex here. Ooh, okay. I hadn't actually seen this art. That's dope. And in search of greatness. We're going to start piling packs on top of each other. Now I'm running out of space on my playmat. Bam. Tales of the Ancestors, Search for Glory, 
Dark Boar Pathway. Yep, there's another Valky. This time we got the extended art one. That's pretty dope. And, you know, <laughs> I think it's kind of poetically fitting that Tybalt has a character and as a card was kind of a joke for a little bit. And he comes back with a swing so hard that they have to change the rules of an old mechanic. That's pretty god of lies and trickery of him. Foil coma. Nice. And then Turgrid got a fright. Gave a lot of commander players a fright when this card got spoiled. And Sigrid. Okay. So yeah, we got two different Voinclexes and two more Toskis. That's pretty solid. I would call this an absolute win. Sweet, guys. Well, a quick reminder to y'all. All of our singles do get posted up on our website. And if you're nearby, you can stop by the store to see all of the fancy Vorinclexes we just opened today. And maybe take a crack at them out of our case. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I hope y'all have a good night. Good night.